What does it mean to be clutch? Here, let's do the whole definition thing. Clutch, a nest or brood of chicks. Wait, that's the wrong one. That's embarrassing. This one, clutch, characterized by success at a critical moment in a game or competition. And when it comes to that, success at a critical moment, defensively, Lou Dort is clutch. That stop against Kawhi Leonard is just the latest example in a long line of clutch lockdowns for Dort. Count it up, the Clippers try four times to screen Dort off Kawhi, then Kawhi tries to get by him twice, can't do it, and finally resorts to just trying to find a shot over him. But with Dort glued to him, can't even do that and can't even get a shot off. Process all that for a second. The guy that has done this couldn't even get a shot off. I like how Nick Batum and Russell Westbrook are like, Wait, what was that exactly? What? But it's not the first time Dort has clamped down on one of the biggest stars with the game on the line. Like, remember this play from 2021? This was probably the world's introduction to the Dortcher chamber with Dort harassing LeBron into an air ball with 20 seconds left in an overtime game. Al Horford said he defended LeBron as well as anyone he's ever seen. Or this one from last season, tie game against the Kings, Sacramento is trying to hold for the last shot. Ball is in the hands of De'Aaron Fox, who is one of the best clutch scorers in the NBA. They dummy two screens on Dort, trying to see if the Thunder will bite and miscommunicate a switch and leave open a driving lane for Fox. But Dort stays with him, anticipates Fox's cross, and picks him clean. And then for good measure, goes coast to coast for the game-winning layup himself. Like candy from a baby. There really aren't any great statistics to represent this sort of thing, though. The NBA doesn't provide clutch stats outside of steals and blocks for defensive clutch moments. We can look at certain broad things, though, like OKC being 17 points per 100 possessions better on defense when they're ahead in clutch time, meaning when they need stops to win the game, with Dort on the floor, than they are overall on the season. Or in the last minute, even 12 points per 100 better than that. Or in the last 30 seconds, six points per 100 possessions better than that. Or in the last 10 seconds, six points per 100 better than that. In one possession games under 10 seconds, OKC has a 72.4 defensive rating. And in those situations, the ball is almost always in the hands of the other team's best player, and in almost all cases, Dort is the one guarding him. We've seen it multiple times this season, like Dort locking down Damian Lillard in December in a one-point game. And what separates Dort in so many of these situations is one, the effort, and that's obvious. But two, related to that, you just can't cleanly screen him. He leads the league in drawing offensive fouls, mostly all coming from opposing teams illegally screening him because he is so good at getting around them and players desperately want Dort off them. But just watch on this play. Yusuf Nurkic tries to get in Dort's way, not even really with a screen, but more of a lead block. And like he's a linebacker, Dort shucks it away and recovers to get in front of Lillard again. Lillard tries to shake him, but Dort moves his feet as well as any defender in the NBA recovers again, anticipating the jumper, and raises a hand early, then closes the gap even more for a contest on Lillard's fadeaway. Look at this. It's defensive art against one of the clutchest, clutchiest players we've ever seen in the NBA, Airball. And speaking of, it wasn't really clutch time officially, but it certainly qualifies as success in a critical moment. In Portland, again, against the Blazers and Lillard, Dort completely changed the game on what became a massive late fourth quarter run by OKC. On back-to-back -back possessions, he shut down Lillard once, forcing a pass to absolutely no one, and then forcing a wild layup attempt. This was a game where Lillard had it going big time too, with 38 points on 18 shots, but after those stops, a one-point OKC lead turned into a 15-point lead with a 21-7 run. Another one. Against the Mavericks in October, Dort was a major spark in a Big Thunder comeback in Dallas, forcing turnovers and making life extremely difficult for Luka Doncic. Just going through the play-by-play, -play, it stands out. Luka isn't the one taking shots here. He took two total in the fourth and missed them both. After the game, 
Lucas said this about Dort. Yeah, he's a great defender. I think he's one of the top three defenders in the NBA. Or this one. Big stop on DeMar DeRozan in overtime in the final 10 seconds of a two-point game. Look how hard the Bulls tried to get Dort off of DeRozan. Poku is ready to switch, but Dort bounces right back in front of DeRozan, sealing off any drive attempt and even getting a quality contest on a mid-range pull-up. OKC won that game in OT. Remember that awesome SGA step back three against the Wizards? <clears throat> Relevant video alert, go watch that one if you haven't. That shot put the Thunder ahead, but it didn't officially win the game. There was still 1.1 seconds left and OKC was just up one. With Bradley Beal, that game was still very much in doubt, but Dort did his homework. It's not all about just the ISO stops on the ball. He completely read the Wizards out of bounds play and beat Beal to the spot, showed his hand so there was no foul, and got the stop. SGA got his game winner because Dort made sure Beal couldn't answer it. So, what makes Dort so good in these spots? One, he's just an awesome defender. Lucas said he's top three, and Lillard named him as one of his top three in 2021. NBA's top three perimeter defender, Drew Holiday, Ben Simmons, and Lou Dort. By the way, fun sidebar fact here. Lillard wanted the Blazers to take Dort in the 2019 draft after watching him in the Pac-12 tournament for Arizona State. And I bet he thinks about it all the time. If only the Blazers would have while Dort is guarding him these days. He laid the groundwork to be recognized as one with his defense in the bubble, memorably defending James Harden tooth and nail for seven games. He is just a tenacious player, never taking a playoff. He guards pretty much every opposing best player, even one six inches taller than him, and makes every possession a personal mission to stop his man. Two, he moves his feet exceptionally well, and as well as any player in the league, defends with his chest. He shows his hands and uses his big upper body to kind of control the offensive player to keep his guy in front. And again, you just can't screen the guy either. And three, he just has amazing instincts. Dort isn't some giant long-limbed pterodactyl like Kawhi Leonard or Mikhail Bridges. He's six foot four and built like a home appliance. He's strong, he's quick, he's smart, and he's strong. Did I say he's strong? Because he's very strong. God, you are so strong. You can't overpower him no matter how big you are. And if you're fast, he can stick with you. One game, he's standing up Paolo Bancaro. Another, he's keeping De'Aaron Fox in front of him. It's a pretty unusual combination. He does his homework, he anticipates moves, and he's insanely disciplined. He's made some mistakes and he's gotten beat, sure, because he's called upon so often in these situations. It's really not all that different from a great clutch player that sometimes misses that open game winner. It happens, but more often than not, Dort is the one coming up with a key stop, and if he doesn't, you'll know you had to weather the Dorcher chamber to earn it. It's a pretty cliche, but fun question to ask. Who do you want taking the last shot with the game on the line? But if that question was, who would you want guarding the guy that you wanted taking that last shot? The answer is probably Lou Dort. Success at a critical moment. Clutch.